Hello, hello. What is the story for no communication today? We will begin because we have a lot to cover. We're going to first start with a split. This is only for Libra signs, so you must have a Libra placement for this to resonate. That's the only way it's going to work. Welcome back to the channel. We have a Seven of Cups and an Emperor. Okay, this is the Awakened Tarot deck. I'm going to put it down. We have an Emperor, Seven of Cups, and a Tower. Let's see what's going on here. Now we have a tower and the Wheel of Fortune. These will all be in today's reading, okay? Because I'm getting, ugh, I have to show you the next one, the Chariot. We got Cancer, Five of Cups, Six of Wands. The next one after that is the Three of Pentacles, okay? I read you exactly what's there. The Emperor is your first card out. The Seven of Cups is also Options. You could be dealing with an Aries and no communication, or there's options that have arisen. You have the card here today. Without, let's not dispute it first. Let's actually accept that there's options. If you have just one, it's included in this card. If there are two or three, that's also included in this card. We just have options here or the variation of choice for no communication. Of course, there's an emperor. This could be you or them. There is somebody that's in charge here. Uh, secure, maybe secure financially, or they're just, they're emperoring, emperoring. All right, four cards that tell the truth. We have the Wheel of Fortune, which is also like, it's building up stamina. I feel a lot of energy from this card today. It's very energetic. Uh, it's in all three videos today. Some of it repeating for other signs, which we did in all signs. The Wheel of Fortune is fate and destiny. Okay, that's the meaning and the definition of the card. If you want to get like skillful with it, and a lot of modern readers get into the Wheel of Fortune, it also means that something is about to change, albeit mostly positive, because you never see a Wheel of Fortune and something bad happens after. It's very rare that that happens, if not at all. So we have that number 10 card. Could be seeing 1010 a lot. I have seven in the Seven of Cups. I also have four here, four, four, four. Could be a sequence and no communication that rings true. Okay, I'm just going to adjust my seat because I've been falling off of it and I changed office chairs the other day. We have a tower, which is Scorpio. Also, Aries is impacted within this as well because, and you're seeing a lot of Mars, two Mars cards or Mars ruled. It's calling for a sense of stability and foundational things to come back into focus. The foundation is what is being rocked in the tower card. And I also feel like there's a swift change that happens. This is one of the towers where it means swift change or sudden change. Change is accepted really well by Libras. Capricorns do very well with change. Um, Aries has to adjust with Cancer. I feel like the water signs hate change overall. It just rocks their socks. We see here that you could adjust to this type of no communication setting. They also know... I think someone knows you have options. That's just a for, for a particular somebody. And there's also a change that you feel. I think you feel the Wheel of Fortune, to be frank. To the Chariot. I want to look at your last few cards. Give me a second here. Six of Wands. You definitely have a hidden success somewhere in the reading. We're going to find out what that is too, Leo Energy. And I got all my cards. So let's begin. No communication. It's an update from yesterday. All righty. We have an Aries here, a Leo. I have all the fixed signs and I'm gonna name them off, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, and Aquarius. Scorpio with the tower card. Also, you have some cups people as well, okay? Affecting water signs are there in the environment. I just wanna be complete today because um, lately I've been wanting to do straight to the point as opposed to you watching for many, many minutes. So let's do that today. Uh, no communication, the details, please. I'd like the details, what might I know? What's going on behind the scenes? That's a good thing to ask. Behind the scenes, please. Thank you. One card, the devil. Obsession, Capricorn energy, fiery, uh, having a lot of emotion. It's discombobulated and I feel like the tower could be some news that you do get. I feel like it's more a placement of somebody today and no communication. Towers are showing up everywhere. And I have this theory that towers show up at increasingly uh, changing moments in our lives where it needs to really step in. For me, they're very divine. And I was afraid of this card at the beginning, but 
but not so much because it just breaks the foundation of something that needs to be broken anyway, okay? It needs to be broken anyway for some clarity, for some emotion, for somebody to come through or for you to come through. Uh, I've never feared towers after I started watching more videos and learning more about it. All right, so we do have somebody here coming in with obsessive thoughts or it's an addiction. Somebody could be living with an addiction. And um, I want to add here with this card, there's varying depictions of the devil card, but it just speaks of something that's not healthy in the environment, period, right? You see that card and you're like, eh. <laughs> so we'll look into that as well. What else do I need to know about this current situation? Truthful and to the point, clear and concise messages for our dear Libra. Thank you. You only have one card again. The lovers would be another major arcana you do see today in YouTube land and even here. Affection. This person can't keep it in anymore. It's very intense. Okay. Very intense with a combination of those two. Again, you're not getting minors. I do want to explain that. That is a microcosm in these readings where you get two majors and it's explaining a major even, which is the tower card. It's emotions, it's a spill if over, okay? Um, in the 3D, for this person to do this, it takes a lot of strength as well to come toward you and really provide you like clarity with your feelings, right? Because it's uh, expected sometimes and anticipated. If you're a very much in tune person or you're an empath, you're already getting these signals in your environment. There could be projection from other people. There could also be uh, mixed signals is another sign of that. Or you do have an emperor here that just thinks they're all too good for the situation. And it might be the latter, actually. So you have options. You have a wheel turning and you also have a hidden success. Uh, for me, it's the fourth card or the sixth, usually in a read. That's how I've always done it. So we'll see what the Six of Wands is, first placement for no communication. What can we know for the hidden success? Queen of Swords, you being truthful, outright, and transparent, and that's been your spot lately, even in the main no-com reading. Uh, you've been stressing that I have my sword and I'm going to use it. Libra energy, okay? Libra finite, Libra stable. It's a Libra stable card. We also have a five of cups here and it was shown in your main. I'll show you that you have it in the other deck too. It was after the chariot. Yes, you do have it. Somebody's emotions for you are actually the hidden success of this reading. They just have to come to that thought and that realization can actually scare them because you might actually be the person for them. Queen of Swords, the way you rule this is saying things the way that they were telling this person truthful things in the story and also abiding by your own truth, which means if you stand by family and you stand by sensitive things like, this is what I want um, and you're not placing because you're not reacting to me in this, in this time, the Queen of Swords will state that. She's unafraid, unabashed. She uses the power of her words, but not for bad. Very, very honest character along with the King of Swords. Okay, she lives by integrity too, that's her sword. Also, I like to think it's the Ace of Swords for a particular DF energy. If you were to move forward and actually ask yourself, we're gonna do a split for the Wheel of Fortune, why the fixed sign energies truly do, they gravitate toward Libras. That's what the fixed signs do because they sense stability, they sense balance, okay, in something that you do and you're very grounded. Libras have a grounded sense to them. So let's check that out with a split. I'm going to do just something random for no communication. It's the Queen of Wands. Okay. On the other side of that is the Eight of Cups. On the split, it's by you walking away and caring for yourself. Sometimes the Queen of Wands is a self-care card for me as a reader. She's very intuitive. She has a black cat for a reason. Um, there's a mystical essence to the Queen of Wands. She's also very attractive in common tarot and in overall general reads. There's an attractiveness that you either keep to yourself or you're very quiet about it. That alone can be something that is charging this person. And I think it's an emperor. If we're updating yesterday's video, they seek that you are matching them because on some level we have two fire cards and that's the energy that's here. Okay, we have an emperor that's looking for attraction in their life, something fun, something new, and to communicate. And that person is the queen of wands, if you embody those traits, okay? They're wanting to turn that type of relationship, it might even come in on time, the wheel of fortune, okay? 
you did walk away. You walked away actively. This is a very serious card in our depictions and readings lately. It talks about someone actively walking away for positivity. And I tell you to look up that Saturn placement in your natal chart. It could be really important and actually eye-opening for you. Okay. So what you do is, um, there's a free website called Cafe Astrology. It will look up all your placements. You do have to have your birth time and the resonance of where you were born because it won't line up. It actually gets your rising and the moon the night of your birth. So you have to be completely accurate there, okay? Um, a walking away. The Eight of Cups is either walking away for your own good, okay? For some peace is what I'm getting. Inner peace, okay? There's additions to that channel and your Saturn placement. There's something about that today. So it could surprise you. Now, if you don't know your birth chart and you only know your big three, I highly suggest to get it done by a professional who can actually take your documents and turn it into a you know real placement chart for you. Also, the Chinese uh, version would be really useful as well because it does tell you your North Node placements. Um, let's look at the Seven of Cups, your options. What is that in the Libra story for no communication? Thank you. It's coming in as this card over and over again. It's the Ten of Cups. Out of all of your options, one of them is truly happy, even if you come to that by yourself. One of your thoughts, your activations, or even the vibrational way in which you're living is the truth, and it's the Ten of Cups. It could be like going back to resonance with family it could be where you allocate your time it could also be where your pentacles thrive there's something existing in your life that is completely it's here it's stable it's the answer you've already experienced your ten of cups in an area can i can i get this what's the feeling of these 17 cups thank you a king of swords living by your truth and also your complete integrity as a person that might even, you know where that comes from? I also feel like the King of Swords can be addiction that you have about your life at this time. Authority in your life at this time could be attached to, to a King of Swords person who often has inspired you. Uh, that to me is a father figure as well, King of Swords. More indefinitely is that integrity I previously mentioned. So you feel like Maybe a lifestyle change here that you incurred a few months ago or something positive that you presented yourself with is truly your Ten of Cups, okay? And it hasn't shown you, this is how you're going to know, it hasn't shown you the wrong direction of things. It has actually been pointing to more positivity than any negativity in your life. Clear, cut, and concise, can I see those options too? A little bit more. You have one card here. The cards that don't quit, Three of Pentacles working together, new collaborations. Also, I feel like your options too, uh, in love, they look good at this time. There's one person who's peeking out a little bit more as an interesting character, okay? For maybe 40 of you today that will watch. There's more of a person here who's offering stability, earth energy, which is also in the pentacles realm as a stable individual. They come out more on top for you. Anything else that Libra needs to know? You have a couple cards here. I'm going to read them as they drop. Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Death card. There's an ending with someone who's now single. That's how I read that in No Communication. They want you to know, though, that it's almost being painted that this person is being fulfilled. They have their Nine Cups, too. Okay, they feel maybe less stress. I don't, I don't know why that's coming in. I'm just reading it the way I see it. Um, but they also see that they've lost you too. They also see that they've lost you. Nine of Cups here, maybe for several weeks, or they've come into a promotion or they're doing well. This seems to be someone in no communication who's doing well on the material plane as opposed to their emotions, okay? We do have a cup of love coming in for a Queen of Pentacles. Stronger if you have Capricorn in your chart, you will feel it more than others or a Capricorn moon here. You'll feel it more than the rest of the collective. It's heading into that area. Could be material wealth too. No communication. Let's split it. What's in their thoughts? Seven of Pentacles. Okay. The two and the justice card. Nice. Lady in red. She comes in proposing some thoughts and feelings in today's no communication extended. Justice is in the energy. 
people who did you wrong in the past will come back with a correctness to them. And it's also something about your aura here and what you have to deliver. When there is a truth telling time period, and you're going to see this upcoming, especially with the next moon, the justice card is in your environment and people who juggled you before are feeling the ramifications in this current time period. Okay. Whoever juggled you made a mistake here, even through your shadow work too. There's justice in the environment. And we have Libra energy bamboozled up in here. No, I'm just kidding. Has a nice placement, actually, at the conclusion of your reading. Also, I want to say that there's a willing to invest person. It's funny, at the beginning of your readings, we asked for investment, love, or lifestyle. An investment card is here. It's somebody who's willing to pour out their heart to you. There is a person that is... Okay, there's a person with watery feelings that is willing to state their emotions. Who it is can run the gamut, but that's what's coming out for you today. We have a seven of pentacles person who sees you as a investment that's opportune. And we also have an ace of cups for you. Let's check out a little bit more here. The final card on the ace of cups, please. Thank you. There's only one. Ace of pentacles. So there's a different combo in no communication, different message, different combo. The Ace of Pentacles is an offer telling you their feelings. Also, they're new beginning cards and they begin a new foray into a new beginning. So that offer can be coming in from an outside new person, okay, who's more willing to express the Seven of Pentacles to you, who's also more willing to care for you, which is the Queen of Pentacles, or that is you. Can I get a card for her too? I'm interested. Let's do Light Seers because that's all I have left. What's the Queen of Pentacles for the Capricorn energy showing up? And if you don't have Capricorn, it's okay. It still can apply. The Two of Wands. You're waiting for more opportune moments. And someone here too. I feel like there's an expectation. I don't know why. I feel like there's like an expectation quality to no communication today. But you're waiting to make a decision which could involve risk to it. Okay, two of wands can be a risk. Let me see, what is she doing? What's the queen, of, what does she do? What's the queen of pentacles for a commitment? Okay, so you're either going to be celebrating something soon, there's a gathering or there's an accomplishment that you're coming to. It's very personal, that accomplishment to you. And I feel like what you're working through is almost bringing this to fruition by your own taking it's independence queen of pentacles okay bottom of the deck is the death card i think you ended it with somebody who just wasn't emotionally there and wasn't providing for you and a knight of swords on the split okay what is that about now can i check that i'm sorry libra i get into this mess i'll draw more cards and then i get into something else <laughs> knight of swords we're going to clarify this at the very ending it's air energy coming to justice i look down and this is what i saw just show you the imageries i get we have a knight of swords coming to justice what is that can i get the most likely card for that energy because i feel it too it has a lot of like pungent energy to it the empress okay whatever that says to you and your intuition today that is the conclusion of no communication i look forward to seeing you four through the tenth we have an amazing week ahead of us Let's see what that produces. I am going to do an all oracle reading this week. I just don't know what day I'm going to do it. I hope you'll join me. Um, I will also put a schedule up tonight in communities. That way you can follow and you don't have to anticipate videos. Uh, you'll have a full schedule and I think I'm going to start doing that. Okay, I'll catch you guys on Libra Light tomorrow.